Oh, I have my coffee in the front. I didn't win a coffee. <laughs> I just need lots of coffee. Okay, colliders. <gasps> I have gold, I have green, I have purple. Like, what? <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> Hi y'all, welcome to the Sugar Scoop. I'm sugar and cake artist Shelby Bauer, and I thought it would be really fun to go over with you guys all my prizes, kind of do an unboxing of all the prizes that I got from That Takes the Cake 2020. I won, I ranked platinum, um, I won first place in sculpted showpiece, and then I won best overall showpiece. Um, it's not to brag on, you know, my winning or my prizes or anything. What I wanted to do is just kind of show, um, what you win. Also, just kind of highlight the sponsors and what they give out as prizes and then motivate, uh, more people to enter the showpiece category because it's really fun to compete in it. And, um, the prizes are great. The people are awesome. Um, but overall, I just wanted to kind of, you know, highlight the prizes and the sponsors and everything and just... A big thank you to That Takes the Cake. It's a really awesome show. So I thought uh, this medal was awesome. It's really cute. It has the artwork uh, for the show theme, which the show theme was mythology, which was a great theme for this year. I loved the theme so much and really inspired me. And um, I think that really showed in my piece. And I'll show you guys what my piece looks like at the end of the video. So we're gonna do our unboxing of all the prizes first, and then I'll show you guys what my piece was. Um, so this was my first place medal for um, winning first in sculpted show piece. And then this was my prize for one of my prizes for winning um, best in division, which is the show piece division. So this was the prize that I got for winning um, best overall showpiece and it's this really beautiful crystal cake plate that looks like the capital it's really gorgeous I now have two of these <laughs> and they're really really pretty uh, I also got this really neat cake plate that says um, Capital Confectioners Presents that takes the cake so it has the logo of that takes the cake on it um, I have quite a few of these from winning um, last year and the year before. So those are kind of the fancy prizes that you get that are really fun. You can display, um, you know, at your home. Uh, I also won first place for the FIPGC qualifying competition. Um, for that, I still have to compete again later to... Um, be able to represent the U.S. at the cake, um, World Cake Championship. So wish me luck on that. But I got this. Ugh. This Canon printer. Um, this was from Icing Images. Yeah, Icing Images. And it's a printer... I think it's a setup for printing with sugar sheets. I'm not quite sure. I need to get a, um, I need to get some scissors real quick. I forgot scissors. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it down here and then pull it out. Okay, so inside, we have a little note that says, congratulations on your printer pa prize package. Your prize also includes access to iPrint and a lifetime subscription to iDesign. Um, I don't know what that is. That sounds really cool. It has a phone number for me to call. And then I have an Icing Images edible ink cartridge set. Um, this is really cool. So this is so I can print on edible paper. Um, and I have tried to use regular food coloring and it doesn't work. <laughs> you have to have edible ink. It's special. I don't know what's in it, but it works really well. This is one of the best, um, edible inks on the market. Um, printer cleaner, printer stuff. Looks like a big giant printer. So 
it came with a, a pack of premium wafer paper and a pack of premium icing sheets. This is um, white vanilla flavored eight and a half by 11 um, icing sheets. And it's, how many of them? 12 sheets. These are really heavy and thick and they feel really nice. They smell good too. They smell really fresh. And then Icing Images Platinum Edible Printing System for food products only. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Just like the setup guide for the Canon printer. And then a thank you. And then the printer. So I'm not going to open up the printer all the way because it's just a regular um, photo printer. So that's the prize for winning um, first for the qualifying rounds of the FIPGC um, competition. If you don't know what that is, I'll link a, um, I'll put a link below on what they're about and um, there are still a few qualifying competitions coming up. Uh, I think SoFlow is one of them, so make sure, you know, if you're interested in that, um, that you um, become a member and you enter. And then maybe you'll get to compete against me. So I'll put this away. I'm excited about the edible ink. Thank you, Icy Images, for my awesome prize. So now I'm going to go on to um, the prizes that I got for um, from That Takes the Cake for the, for the first place in the showpiece. So I have this little prize pack that comes in a little bag that says it has the That Takes the Cake logo on it. Just some coffee. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. Okay. Put my coffee on my pretty new cake plate. <laughs> and so we have a spatula. Um, this is a Fat daddy -O spatula. Um, not offset. Straight blade. I don't actually have one of these. I usually have offset spatulas. Some sat nice um, blue vanilla fondant. It says new. And some, oh cool, satin ice gold fondant. This is shimmery gold fondant. I've used, I, I bought a little sample of this before um, from Sheila at the Kate Craft Shop. Um, but I don't have like a big thing of it, so that's great. Oh, this is nice. This is a modeling tool set from Fat Daddios. I've never actually used their modeling tools. Um, I have tools that are really similar, but I haven't used these before. Another spatula. This is my favorite type of spatula. If you know me, I use tiny spatulas. Um, if you take my online class, I use a tiny spatula. It probably annoys uh, some people, but um, I love tiny offset spatulas, so this is awesome. Some black fondant from Satin Ice. Can't ever have enough fondant. Some gum paste. I love gum paste. Um, some satin ice gum paste in white. Um, this is a pastry tube set um, from Fat Daddios. So just like really nice big piping tips. Uh, I don't actually have most of these um, in these large size. So this is really cool. And I like that they're clear and blue. This is neat. I've never seen these before. Let's see. This is from Icing Images. This is premium wafer paper. Oh, yay. It comes with their... I've been um, wanting to buy this. This is the paper paper potion. Uh, it's like a conditioner for wafer paper. I've been wanting um, to buy this, so I'm excited that they, they included this in my price pack. Uh, you, like, spray it on the wafer paper, and it conditions it so that you can, like, move it and, like, um, bend it and stuff. Um, this is more stuff from Icy Images. It's really nice of them. So it looks like they sent me a colored pack, which I've, I don't think I've ever used colored, oops, I don't think I've ever used colored wafer paper before. I always just color it myself, which, you know, can take a lot of dust and, um, is annoying. But I got pink, green, yellow, uh, blue, and then, um, I don't know how many are in here. 
da, 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 10 vanilla flavored sheets. And then I got a pack of white wafer paper. This is 25. This is size A4. So that's awesome. I'm going to put this all back together and put my new um, conditioner. And this is all just in one bag, so I'm still not done. Um, Sugar Showpiece First Place Sculpted. Oh, wow, that's surprising. I got a check for $250. I didn't know I had that. That's great. I'm going to put that aside. Um, I also got a check for uh, the Best of Showpiece, which was $1,000, so that was awesome. If you compete, you know it's really expensive to compete, so um, getting some cash prizes is really helpful. Because I live in Houston, this competition is in Austin, so it's not that far from me, but I still probably, um, not probably, I know I spent around $600 um, just to compete. So, um, you know, if you... Competing can be expensive, especially if you're coming from somewhere farther away. You know, you have to pay for a hotel, all that stuff. So it's nice to get cash. That's really sweet of them. Um, I also got some Chef Rubber um, Color Emulsion Gel. Um, so just gel food coloring. This is lime green and red. Oh, a bunch of them. I got navy blue. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Navy blue is hard to get, and I love Chef Rubber um, colors. Um, black, never have enough black either. Um, ivory, I think I'm out of ivory, and yellow. I have a lot of yellow, but um, yellow is nice because you can use it to make green. <laughs> and then a cake dummy. This is probably from Lone Star Foam, which I love them. It doesn't say Lone Star Foam, but I know they're a sponsor of the show, and uh, I use them for all of my foam. They're super sweet, really accommodating, and they're really nice people. So I, this is probably from them. That's my guess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of this stuff back in my little tote, and I have quite more, quite more, a few more, <laughs> quite a few more. Um, bags to go through. Okay, so the next one I will go through. Ugh. This one actually looks like it might be the same. This is um, another that takes to cake bag. And this is, oh cool, um, Fat Daddio's Pro Series 8, 18 inch disposable pastry bags. I use tons of pastry bags. This is really nice. I don't think I've ever used Fat Daddio's brand pastry bags, so I'm excited to try those out. I don't have a big enough table. Um, another thing of the blue um, satin ice. Some more um, Chef Rubber um, gel colors. So this is red and black. Oh, I got the silver fondant. So this is the silver shimmer from Satin Ice. So I have the gold in the other bag. So this is the silver. Uh, more gum paste. That's great. Ooh, Choco Pan. Oh, Choco Pan is Satin Ice now, I think. Uh, this is just white fondant from Satin Ice. Um, is it? Oh, it just says try our new... Choco pan covering chocolate. Ooh, that sounds cool. I hope I get some of that. Um, more gold shimmer. Awesome. Ooh, what's this? Tab Best. I don't know what this is. Tab Best? Let's open it up, see what it is. It might be a holder for modeling tools, maybe? Ooh, this is so nice. Artist paintbrush set. I do not have anything like this. I use horrible craft um, brushes and makeup brushes. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really excited about this. Tiny, tiny, tiny little brushes that I need. I need this. Oh, and it's got a nice case. And it says TD Best Artist Paintbrush Set. TD Best Artist Paintbrush Set says um, premium quality, high absorption to water, durability, and easy to clean. 
Uh, great. Oh, it says it, this set includes 15 brushes in the following styles. Spot brush, zero, and number one. Flat brush, number two, number zero, number one. I love number zeros. Um, liner brush, number four, number three, number two, number zero, number one. Round brush, number four, number three, number two, number zero, number one. So that's um, um, awesome. Very excited about that. Um, let's see. Prize winner award. Oh, this might be who this is from. Um, congratulations. That takes the cake 2020 um, prize winner. You have won cake business bundle prize pack. Uh, your prize includes baking business startup checklist, cupcake cookies and cake pop pricing guide, business audit checklist, one page business plan, um, one page marketing plan, order production guide, prize must be claimed by winner by April 1st, cannot be redeemed for cash, shared or resold, total estimated value is $75, email hello sweet success magazine, um, cool. Great, congratulations. Da, 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 da. So this is from Sweet Success Magazine. That's neat. I didn't realize that was in there. I haven't looked at any of this, so I don't realize anything's in here. So I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, okay, and then more Chef Rubber colors. So um, more gel colors from Chef Rubber. This is golden yellow. I love golden yellow, it's really pretty. Ivory and more navy blue. I need to gather all those together. So that's it for this bag so i'm just gonna start piling up the fondant over here it's kind of heavy to put back in that bag i'm gonna keep all my envelopes in the same place too this is so fun i got these cute bags so let's see what's in here did i just drop my scissors somewhere in there okay I am just going to cut this pretty bow. It's very pretty, but I don't want to untie it. Okay. So these two cute bags say Avenue Sweet Choices. And this one doesn't say anything, but it's probably from Avenue Sweet Choices since they were together. Uh, this is a telescoping brush tube. Um, Use me to store wires, brushes, and mats. So it's just like a little tube. Oh, it gets, oh, it telescopes. Okay, that makes sense. So it's for holding long things. Oh, that's smart. This is gonna be really nice for floral wire. I have an issue with storing my floral wire, that's for sure. Ooh, I love edible dust. So this is, oh, this is, um, this is the flakes, like the, um, the glitter flakes. So it has sterling flakes in pink, black, silver, pearl, and gold. These are so pretty. Um, some little stamens, some berries. So cute. Um, twist, twist nozzles. I've never used these before. There's some piping tips that, um, looks like a whipped cream piping tip. Oh, leaf cutters. I can never have enough leaf cutters. You're going to hear me say that a lot because I can never have enough of a lot of these things. <laughs> Cake decorators are crazy and we have so many supplies. Um, let's see. Ugh, chairs all crank creaky. Um, so this is three, three different styles of leaf cutters. I've never had leaf cutters that have this shape that's a nice shape. And then, oh, a pretty, um, oh, what are they called? Not a brooch, a cameo, this little cameo mold, little silicone cameo mold. What's in that bag? So in this bag, we have a letter set, letter cutter set, um, alphabet and number cutter set from um, FMM products. And then another letter set. This looks like it's lowercase, and that one was uppercase. Um, alphabet script cutter set, lowercase from FMM. Um, geometric multi cutter. I don't have any of these, but I've heard really good things about these, and I've seen people make some really beautiful cakes with them. Uh, this is from PME, and it's like uh, different shapes of um, or different sizes of triangles. They look like they cut really um, clean. Tiny little brush. 
Oh my gosh, is this a brush? No, this is a um, tiny little like pointy tool. This is cool. I can use this for cookies. It's really heavy. It's like metal. It's really heavy. Okay, so that's all that's in these two bags from Avenue Sweets. Sweet choices. Avenue Sweet Choices. Thank you so much. I put all this stuff back. I love getting um, edible glitter. I got a bunch of these um, metallic, a bunch of these. This is from, let's see, <sighs> Cake Connection. It says cakeconnection.com. Um, wow. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is a, just a huge box of metallic cupcake liners. <laughs> I have gold, I have green, I have purple, I have this pretty ivory color, champagne color, burgundy, purple, light purple, like light pink, red, it's really pretty, it's like silver, green, oh my gosh, is this like a pink? This is like a rose gold, bright gold, this is like a metallic white like a pearl oh my gosh this is crazy I know for a fact these are expensive each one of these is like 25 bucks so this is insane this box is crazy I love this burgundy color it's really pretty and these are my actually my favorite cupcake liners so thank you so much to Kate Connection I really appreciate it um, these oh. Oh my gosh. Should I just like pull them all out and stack them up to show you guys just how many I got? I'll stack them like this. Um, these are my favorite cupcake liners because they, um, since they're metallic, they have that like metallic layer and they don't um, show the grease that will, um, like the grease, like the butter or the oil that kind of comes through when you're, um, baking cupcakes like the paper liners do like these just always look really clean and really pretty no this is so many this is nuts i just want to highlight how many they gave me i will never need to buy <laughs> cupcake liners again i don't know how many are in this like a thousand or something and not not the whole thing, like in each tube, I think is like a thousand of them. I don't know, maybe that's an exaggeration, but I think it's a lot. Like, what? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19. 19 tubes of these, and I'm pretty sure these are 20 something dollars a piece retail. I don't know. You do the math on that. That's a lot of money. Thank you so much. I'm going to put them all back. Ah, there's this guy. This is actually a lot of stuff. Okay, this is also from Kate Connection. So it says Gelatin Art Starter Kit Kate Connection. This is the same company that just uh, they gave me all those cupcake liners. So I'm gonna open this up. It says starter kit includes veining sheet, five pack set, uh, bug body mold, single bow texture sheet, gelatin in bloom, instruction book, brush set, one ounce unflavored gelatin, 28 gauge wire. Oh wow, that's just this thing. Okay, so here's the. This is the gelatin set. So I'm not gonna open all of this. Should I open all of this? I mean, it's it says what's on it, what's in it. I don't wanna mess it up. This is amazing. So this is just like a big kit to start gelatin art, which I love gelatin. I haven't really played around with gelatin art too much. This is my favorite kind of 
surprise. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, this is just a ton of edible, edible dust? I don't know, let's see. Some of them might not be edible. Galaxy dust, gelatin designs. Um, de For decorative arts and crafts. So this is non-toxic, so I'm gonna guess that this is um, not edible, because it says non-toxic. But um, you can use these on, on cake pieces that are going to be removed. So I have um, Black Magic, um, Baby Pink. I mean, these are just gorgeous. Um, this one is, let's see, blue. Oh, it's a blue shine white. Uh, baby Pink, uh, Black, Yellow. Apricot. These are so pretty. Baby blue. Baby green. Amethyst. Right up my alley. Uh, American silver. Antique gold. Uh, American red. Gold. And American blue. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. And then another box of them. And these look like different colors. Like this one is blue topaz, bright pink. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Uh, burgundy, uh, crimson, fuchsia rainbow, glamorous pink. These colors are gorgeous. Crimson, deep navy, blue, Rainbow, citrus, more gold. Wow, thank you so much, Kate Connection. There's way more, too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love, 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 love glitters and dusts and all that fun stuff. And here is, these might be edible. Oh yes, edible petal dust. This is uh, made by Pristine Powders. These are my favorite dusts. I love them so, so, so much. Um, Kate Connection gave them to me, but they're a uh, Pristine uh, Powder product, um, edible petal dust. So um, this is, let's see, I got, all these are glitters. This is the only edible petal dust group, which is great. This is a lot of them. So I have Sunflower, um, Sunset Orange, uh, rose water. Oh, that's a pretty one. A buttercup. I love buttercup. I actually use buttercup a lot. Uh, cornflower. I use cornflower a lot. That's one of my favorites. Uh, peony. Love peony. Uh, rose gold. I don't have rose gold. I've never used this one. Um, this one is spearmint. I've, I don't have spearmint either. That's a pretty like blue green. It looks like it might be a little metallic maybe. Yeah, it's got a little shine to it. Little blue shine. Um, Paradise green. I love Paradise green. Use that a lot. Uh, shiny gold. Uh, this one's pretty. Hyacinth. Uh, hyacinth. Oh, don't laugh at me. I don't know how to say that word. It's a. I think that's a flower. Um, this is just super pearl. Love super pearl. It's really pretty on lace. Pool party. I've never had this color. It's a pretty blue, like real bright blue. Uh, some silver. And this is a pretty pink. I don't think I've used this. Cotton candy. No, I haven't used this before. That's really pretty. Cotton candy pink. And then I think I got two of each type of glitters. Because I have that pack with all the really pretty like more neon-y colors. It looks like I have two of those packs. And then, oh, oh wow, there's even more. So um, yeah, there's a few different colors in this one that weren't in the other pack. I think this is, yeah, pink rose, I think. No, no, that's a new one. No, pink rose is in this one. I don't know, I just got a whole assortment of really pretty ones. Peach, which I think I already saw. This one is really pretty platinum. I haven't seen that one. Um, oh. Okay, so glitter, glitter, 
glitter, inner edible petal dust, ah, and more glitter. And this looks like it's the same as another one of these, so I got doubles. I love this green. What was this again? Teal. That makes sense. Teal's like my favorite color. <laughs> Duh! Okay. Of course I like the teal. Eek, 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 eek. Okay. <laughs> I just keep dropping stuff. Okay. Edible petal dust. Alright. And then I got more bags. Yay. So this is um, just more tipless piping bags. It says tiplessbags.com. So I have one, two, three, four. These have a texture on them. Oh, these have a texture on them. These are smooth. I like the ones with texture. I like both. Both are fine. I can use whatever. Okay, so I think that is... I'm going to go through... Should I go through the girl for one? I'm just going to go through the gelatin one for fun. Because it looks like it has a lot of cool impression sheets in it. Uh, so... Let's open it up. Okay, so in this we have the Gelatin Art Starter Kit. So, okay, so this is the starter kit. So this has the veining sheet, um, five packs, five pack of veining sheets, five, veining sheet, five pack, veining sheet, five pack. Uh, one, let's see, bug body mold, which is right here, I think, like a little, it looks like a, like the body of a, um, butterfly or something, um, single bow texture sheet, gelatin in bloom instruction book, brush set, one ounce unflavored gelatin in 28 gauge wire, so that's in this. Then I have the gelatin still blooming book by Diane Simmons, and, um, Michelle? Mika Michelle? Mikhail? Mikhail? Michelle? I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever that name is right there. I don't know how to say that name. Oh, I'm, I probably sound so stupid. I don't know. Um, Stidman. Stidham. Sorry. Oh, gosh. Um, they're on the back. <laughs> Thank you. This is, um, I'll, I need to read this because I know nothing about, um, Really nothing about gelatin art. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, well, I won't show you the inside of the book because that doesn't sound fair. Um, gelatin bow and ribbon texture pack. So this is six sheets of different textures. Then we have gelatin veining sheet set number two. Um, this looks like a bunch of leaves. Um, oh, dragonfly, um, dragonfly wings, um, flowers three and four, and leaf three and four. Uh, we have set number three, five sheets of, um, five sheet set, flowers five and six, and leaf five, six, and seven. So it's just like a bunch of leaves and petals and stuff. Um, ooh, this is cool. Sugar dippers, silicone veining mold, um, lily leaves and butterflies. So I guess you just paint, I don't know how to use it. Oh, you, you pour the gelatin on. And then you have these pretty shapes. These are really cool. I've never, ever seen these before. Um, this is the same thing. Silicone veining sheet. Daisy all-purpose leaves and butterflies. Oh, these can be used with isomol. Yes. My favorite. This would have been really helpful on my piece. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, it says can be used with sugar, isomalt, chocolate, and more to create edible works of art. Daisy and all-purpose leaves and butterflies. Then we have um, sugar dipper, same thing, or orchid, leaves, butterflies, and dragonfly. More. This one is multi-purpose flower, leaves, and butterfly. This is so much stuff. I never need to go cake shopping again. Oh, cool. Butterfly wings. Love butterflies. Um, large butterflies. Yes. 
This one is fantasy butterflies. So instead of like the normal butterfly veins, it's just like swirls and stuff. This is really pretty. Oh, and polka dots and just like pretty designs. This is sugar dipper, same thing. Bow loop number one. So this is to make the gelatin bows. Um, so I have never done that before, but it looks like you just fold them together and then you have like a bow. Um, this is bow loop two, so I have one and two. So two is just a different pattern, same concept. So that, I'm glad I went through that. That was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like basic, like getting started with gelatin set. So that's really cool. So looking around, I think that's about it. Um, except for, y'all are going to laugh, another printer. <sighs> so I think this is the same kit as the one we just went through. I think the Pixma, Pixma, yeah, this is the same kit. So this is the Canon, this is from um, icing images. Um, ugh. It's the same like printer set with all the um, edible paper and everything that we went through before. So I'm not gonna open this again, but I got two printers. Uh, and my edible printer that I have <laughs> already um, hasn't been working that well. So that is um, awesome. I actually, I use edible printing a lot, especially for my edible books and stuff like that. So this is nice to have a backup. And then, um, let's see. <sighs> okay, is there anything else? I think that's it. Okay. All right, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything out on my table so you guys can see just everything that I got from winning um, the prizes I won at That Takes the Cake 2020. I hope that this inspires you to compete. Okay, guys, so this is everything that I won at That Takes the Cake 2020. Uh, I have my printer down here. I don't even know if you can see it. My other printer's over here. Uh, my edible printer from Icing Images. Um... I mean, this is just amazing. Uh, what a blessing. Uh, again, this is not to brag. This is to um, thank all the sponsors. Oh, I have this the wrong way, that pretty gold fondant. Um, this is to thank all the sponsors. Um, also to inspire you to compete at That Takes the Cake. It's a great competition. Uh, just do it. Oh, I have my coffee in the front. I didn't win a coffee. <laughs> I just need lots of coffee today. And if you're nervous about competing in the showpiece category, just do it. It's, uh, you'll learn so much from doing it. It's really fun. Uh, and your piece, uh, my piece shows that you don't have to make a gigantic piece to win. Uh, my piece met the minimum requirements. It was a few servings over a hundred servings. Um, it was, um, a little bit over two feet tall and it won first prize so you don't have to make a gigantic piece to win you just um, you know just just do your best and every time you compete you learn so much it's so worth it and like I promised you I'll show you some um, pictures and videos of my piece thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel I also want to give a big shout out to Madam Lulu for supplying all of the fondant that I needed for my piece. I used their um, brown fondant and their snow white fondant to create the really pretty bark that you see on my lady. And I also used um, some isomalt that they gave to me to make the leaves and the water.